stressed out because he's done so much work. Yeah, he did a lot of work. Um, hello everyone and welcome back for more Super Mario 64 DS. Last time what we did was uh, we suffered the uh, hell that was um, Tic Tac or Tic Tac Clock. Rainbow Hell, as um, I like to call it. Oh my god. Zoom this in so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, so, um, today we are going to be finding the lovely bunnies. And oh my gosh, this is probably going to take me the whole stream. Um,. So, I think each character has eight bunnies, plus, um, there are, I think, six of the white bunnies, aka the snow bunnies, I like to call them, because, I mean, they look like snow bunnies. Like, they literally do. Um... But anywho, we're gonna start out with Yoshi. I know, I'm so surprised I waited till like the last second to do all this. I'm very shocked. Hey, this person, I'm going off of a little guide here. This person has the same layout as I do. That's funny. Except they have their... Uh, where are my bunnies? Try entering and then exiting. Okay, that's a little bizarre. Um, oh man, I remember this being a pain in the ass. I had this happen last time I played this too. The bunnies like just straight up and not appear. Talk to Toad in the rec room. Okay, okay, I get it. I did the exact same thing last time. It's literally something that fucking simple. I have to talk to Toad in the rec room in order for them to show up, which is kind of stupid, but... Well, well, what are you gonna do? I don't know why I didn't remember that. Oh no, oh no! I lost the keys to Princess Toadstool's secret drawer! She's going to chew me out big time! Oh no, she won't. No, she won't. Cuz I'll beat the hell out of her if she does. I mean, she's kidnapped anyways. What the hell is she gonna do? She's trapped within the wall. When you find the keys for me, Yoshi, this is just between you and me. But you can open the drawer when you have a key. The drawer leads to the rec room where the Princess Toadstool used to play games as a child. When you found a key, you can go inside and play more mini games. Just select rec room from the title screen to play. Yeah, well, I'm not really too interested in the mini games, but it's like, I'm interested in the star that's um, inside that room, which is how you get um, the coin. No! 
Oh, don't eat me. I'm really tough from all the running I do. Seriously, I taste horrible. Let me go and I'll give you this. Ay, my, I thought I was going to die. My entire life flashed before my eyes. Here, take the key and leave me alone. Sure, yeah, I'll leave you alone. Here, trade a key to the drawer of Princess Toadstool's rec room. You can now play new mini games. And yes. Oh man, this is gonna take forever. Ah, get over here. Oh my gosh, how many bunnies are there out here? Fell off. Ah, get over here. Oh, get over here. Oh man, as if chasing that one bunny in the original was bad enough. You gotta chase a whole bunch of these here. Just, ugh, I was not looking forward to this. That's why I saved this for last. Uh, yeah, this is probably gonna take the whole stream to do this. Uh... Anyways, I'm um, just giving you an update on um, how um, the Cat Lady project's going. I got the desktop computer down. Oh man, but I ran into a number of issues. Yeah, I ran into a number of issues. Uh, Wait, um, oh my god, the computer repair guy. Arr, don't eat me! I almost had a heart attack. Oh wow, you said something different. Something different. Oh, fucking computer repair guy that I call, he really fucked shit up. Wait, he unplugged one of my, um, fans and they he completely took out the cpu fan when i just asked him to replace the hard drive i i don't know what the hell his deal was but it's just like oh fucking next time remind me not to yeah i'll just do that shit myself and then Yeah, cause fuck that shit. It, and that, yeah, now I have a fan that's completely missing. And, um, I didn't know, like, which fan. And I, you know, I tried, uh, you know, using this freaking thing without fans. And, uh, it didn't work out too well. I think the computer stayed on for about, like, five minutes. And then it overheated and then it shut off. Um, so then, um, I, I had to tear the bitch apart and see that one of the fans got unplugged, so I plugged that fan in, and then... As soon as I turn it on, it says another fan is has not been detected. So now I have to man, I gotta figure out, you know, what type of fan this CPU needs. Because like I'm not sure exactly what type of fan it needs because oh man. Guy really screwed me over there. It's just like. Is that all of them here? I think so. Yeah, I. I was pissed off. 
needless to say. And then, yeah, while I was installing Steam, like, several times, it it shut down because of the CPU overheating. And it's like, once I, you know, touched the CPU, like, that shit burnt. Like, it was hot. Like, it was hot. Oh my, the, yeah, it was hot, like, dead ass, like, I felt like I burnt my hand a little bit just touching it, and, yeah, and then I had to figure out, like, how to plug in that fan, uh, without burning myself, and that was really tough. Um... Yeah, it was tough. Like, I'll say that right now. And, you know, I had to, like, figure out, like, which way the little prongs went in and how to plug it in. And, yeah, it was a pain. Especially with that CPU being real hot. But, you know, after it cooled down a little bit, it was uh, quite a bit easier to do. But, oh man, it's still, you know, oh, that's it for Yoshi, okay, but yeah, like, white one that will spawn out here. Much. No, well, it's randomized, which bunnies will be out here, but I think I might have to be Luigi. Yeah, I remember I think I got the white bunny the snow bunny. Uh, but yeah, eventually I got it, you know, all worked out. I have like a freaking um, fan, like your regular household fan, just kind of sitting on, kind of like above the, where the CPU is. So, um,. You know, it actually it's keeping the CPU cool, so it works. I just wanna, you know, actually get, you know, a CPU fan for it. If not, you know, probably upgrade the CPU in it because I'm, I will probably be my uh, gaming PC. Um, if, you know, that ever happens to uh, happen, but um, I've never really been much of a PC gamer, though, that's... I've always done things on consoles. Oh, man, I really was not looking forward to this one bit. Oh, you freaking princess, that's a pain in the ass. Man, it's like at least with Yoshi you had to... Ugh. There we go. Ouch! Put me down! There's no need for violence, you big brute! I picked up the key, so it's mine! I don't see your name on it! I'll hand it over if you let me go! Here! Yeah, that's not your key. Stupid bunnies. 
They're annoying in this game. It's just like, you gotta catch a whole bunch of them. It's just like, whose idea was this? And who approved this? Stupid. say you know that fan it keeps the cpu cool uh, but uh you know one thing that you know i gotta make sure of is not leave the uh computer on unattended because I mean, you never know it can end up overheating and start a fire and the last thing i want is that happening I don't need any fires in here. What the hell? Man, this controller is just really bad. Ah, yes I am the Super Mario. Thank you. Oh man, all the way down back to the first floor. Why didn't we, why didn't we just do it? Mario. I am ready to play the cat lady. It's a game that, you know, I've been wanting to play for a while. I played it once before and oh my god, it just had some absolutely shocking moments. Oh. Okay, there is one. It was way over here. Okay. But yeah, there were just some absolutely shocking moments. Um so I will definitely be putting a disclaimer at the beginning of each video on that project because the game, it gets violent. Like, it gets freaking violent. And it's just some of the blood and gore that's in that game is just... It's crazy. But it is a good game and it's... It tells the it, it's got an amazing story to it, and I can definitely you know relate to the story of that game quite a lot actually, and um, I'll be talking you know a bit about my experiences with that, but um, oh, I already got you. What? No, wrong room. But yeah, I'll be talking about my experiences with that, but, um... Here we go! Here we go! Okay. 
Okay, Luigi. And uh, yeah, I'll be saying more, you know, in that project because obviously this is supposed to be, you know, kind of a light-hearted project. Well, I mean, Thousand Year Door, it was kind of, but I think it had some really dark moments to it. Like, it really did. Like, oh my god, that game was... It was insane how dark that game was. But Super Paper Mario is like on a whole nother level. Like, for Super Paper Mario, I'm actually shocked that that game got an E rating. Like, I don't know, I'm actually shocked that it got an E rating that game. Alright, where's this bunny at? Is it over here? Oh yes, oh and Luigi Bunny's the fastest, cause Luigi runs the fastest. So, obviously for Wario, that means the, the, uh, his bunnies are the slowest, because he runs the slowest. Uh, get over here, you jerk. Oh, come on, I almost had you. There. I can't believe you caught me outrun by a human. This is the worst day of my life. Here, take this key. Oh, man, okay, oh, that's where the other one is, okay, um, but, uh, anyways, yeah, I'm shocked that that game got an E rating, I really am, especially the fucking, some of the music, like the River Twigs music, like, oh my god, whose idea was that? Like, they had... Oh, some demented ass motherfucker, or whoever thought of composing that song. Or that quote unquote song. Oh my god. Like, I literally cannot believe they fucking got away with that. And I think that might be part of the reason why, you know, Sticker Star, you know, it didn't take any risks, like, uh, whatsoever, you know, with the dialogue or any of that, which is, you know, why the game is so boring. Yeah, that's probably why the game was so boring, because Super Paper Mario took a lot of risks, and I can imagine some people were not happy about some of the risks, like some parents of, you know, children um, that played the game. And probably some parents that were not happy because of some of the very mature themes that were present in that game. Like the Rim Twigs music, like oh my god, like that music. If to a little kid, that could be freaking nightmare fuel. Like I don't know who thought it was a good idea to put that in a kids game because I've ne I don't think I've ever heard a track in any other game more creepy than that track right there, but. Uh, we all hear it. Yeah, we all hear it once, you know, I get to play Super Paper Mario, which... Yeah. Eh, I'll play it eventually, just not right now. Not right now. Okay, we got one. Ah, 
Get over here. Outrun? You were just moving everywhere. Oh man, now I gotta go up to the top floor. Okay, now. Whoa. Hopefully they can see where the hell I'm going. Um, but yeah, basically, I don't know how they got away with some of the stuff that they did in that game, but, you know, there are quite a few games that, you know, I question how they got away with some of the stuff that they did. Ooh, I can't get that bunny yet. Okay, yep, I can't get that one yet. Because that one's way up on the top of the castle, so... Uh, Wario's bunnies it is. Oh, come on, I press pause! Okay. Um... But yeah, I'm just, you know, it, I don't know. And there's going to be some insane things that the cat lady got away with. But I'm pretty sure it's a rated M game. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that game is rated like M for mature or something along the lines. Because it's, it's got very mature content, and it's not a console game, and I, I really don't see that game ever being released on a console. As much as I wish that it would be, I don't think it's ever going to happen. But yeah, see how Wario's Bunny is so slow and it moves in like a very small area? Ah, but Wario's still having a hard time catching his bunny. I'm going to have a heart attack if you don't let me catch you. And... But yeah, there's some moments like that game, it gets downright scary. Oh my gosh, there's like one more. I just, oh my god, it almost gave me nightmares. Oh, the voice acting. Oh my god, the voice acting in that game is insane. Like, some of the voices that are in that game. Like, what? Like, some of the voices, they just straight up sound demonic almost. And it's creepy. Uh, you got like all types of mature content in that game. Like you got uh, domestic violence, suicide, depression, um, murder, cannibalism, cannibalism. And you got, you know. Oh my god. Got some content. Definitely got some uh, interesting content in that game, absolutely. But, like I said, who will see? I'm probably starting the project tonight, but I'm not gonna do it till after I finish this game, of course, because, I mean, we're almost done with this game, so. How'd you catch up to me with those stubby legs? Do I have to call you boss from now on? Yes, I, yes you do. If you let me down, I'll give you this key. Here. Oh, come on. I gotta go 
back and just... Ow! And anyway... All I gotta say is, oh man, I'm, I'm looking forward to the project. Whoa! Yeah, I'm looking forward to it, but at the same time, I'm just like, oh my gosh, I don't know if I'm ready. Because some of the content in that game, like, it's almost mentally scarring. Especially if you have like a very, very vulnerable in your mind, which is, you know, why? No, I'm gonna be putting, you know, a disclaimer because that game is definitely not for everyone. Like, even some adults. Like, I'm pretty sure there's some people I know that they literally could not play that game because of some of the content that's in it. But, yeah, you'll see what I mean. I gotta type out a disclaimer, which I'll do that after, you know, I'm finished streaming this game, you know. I'm trying to, you know, think of what I should put. Because, you know, I want to, you know, get, you know, all the aspects, you know, like domestic violence. Um, I think child abuse is also present. I don't exactly remember, but regardless, we got some uh, scary content in there. Yeah, get over here! Oh my gosh! Oh, and of course, there's one in there. Oh, oh my gosh, I lost my sense of direction. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh yeah, it's just like, oh my god. But yes, you'll see. But there's like one part that it was even hard for me to watch. Because of how graphic it is. Oh my god! Are you kidding me? All the way up there? Uh, excuse me, I want the snow bunnies, or glowing bunnies, or whatever. Okay, I've done all that. Hmm. 
Not the glowing bunnies, not the regular ones. Sorry guys, I'm just like... Okay, alright. It was like, I knew it would... Ugh. But, uh, anyways, yeah. <sighs> I am excited to play the game. I really am. I'm just like, uh, kind of nervous at the same time, though. Cause it's like, uh, I, I don't know, I don't exactly remember all of the stuff that I have to do, because it is kind of a little bit of a puzzle game. And like, you gotta figure out some puzzles, but hopefully I can remember them, but... Nope. Okay, well... No. Aha! Look at the snow bunny! Let me eat you! Let me eat you right now! Oh, come on. I bet my older brother tastes good. Eat him. <laughs> fastest. I'm the second fastest of my eight brothers. They all say that, by the way. say that, by the way. Oh, really? I just... Just go in and out? Is that what I do? Uh... This is going to be very fast.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Second fastest of the Ray Brothers. Okay, what is this guy doing? Oh, I think I know the location is like randomized. Okay, well, it seems like they're all gonna be out here. But, this location's gonna be randomized. Oh, there you are. Oh, get over here. Get out of here, snow bunny. Okay, so I, I know what to do now. I know what to do now. They'll just appear in a random spot. Okay, well, I got three of them. Okay, here's, here's the fourth one. Assholes. You guys are assholes. You know that. All right, now I gotta find where the next one is. It's uh, around here somewhere. I just gotta look around for this one. Where is Mr. Snow Bunny? Down here? Or do I need to go in and out again? No, oh, there's nothing here somewhere. Yeah, I think I'm gonna need to go in and out. Yeah, cause it is kind of just pure luck. Okay. Mr. Snow Bunny, you better be coming out. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Sure, these white bunnies are a pain in the ass. They're fast. Get over here right now. There we go. You tasted nasty. Okay. Okay, bunny number six. Where are you at? Can you be over here again? No. I don't see you. I don't think they come out every time. Oh well, I'll get you. I will get you, little one. Gotta figure out where the hell you are. Can be over here again? Oh my goodness. How is this stupid bunny at? Are there two that are down here? No? Ugh, oh, man. These bunnies are a real pain in the ass. That's why, that's why I was like, whose fucking idea was this? If I was those people hate and didn't hate for freaking one bunny enough, let's just throw in a whole bunch. That's a great idea.
Okay, what is this bullshit? I knew this was going to take the whole freaking stream to do this. Switch into a different character. Yeah. I'm all caught with Yoshi, but I. Uh. Why can't I find you anywhere, you stupid bunny? <sighs> Alright, one of these times you gotta come out. What the hell? I know I have more. Okay. Wait, I know there's six bunnies out here. Alright. What the hell, man? This is complete and utter bullshit. It says they're all out here. I'm just... Urgh, I don't know why it's not working for me. Hey, one of these times I gotta find one here. No, quit doing that. Oh my god, this is the stupidest goddamn thing ever. I swear to God, this is the dumbest shit ever. Mm -hmm. Why are they not spawning for me? What the hell, man? I know I don't have them all. Because it's going to tell me that I need, like, a few more. Three! I have three left. What the hell, man? I'm not wanting to spawn. Oh, there we go. Price on a stick. It's about time. Yes. Go to where this is at. Oh, I Why am I just not waiting enough time? Oh, 
man. This is annoying. It really is. It's the stupidest thing I've ever fucking done. Okay, maybe I'll just go back up here. Because that seemed to work going up here. This is so stupid! Oh my god, this is so fucking stupid! Stupidest thing I've ever fucking done in my damn life. There you are, little shirt. Get over here. Ah, oh, one more. Oh boy, how long is this gonna take? <laughs> What's my phones? Oh god. Okay, um, I gotta plug it. Phone just died. Shit, it's too late. This is such fucking bullshit. Oh no! Oh my gosh! Do I have to unplug? I am so sorry, guys. Mm, this is pissing me off. And I really gotta use the bathroom too. Oh, zero percent, so that means I literally cannot unplug this at the moment. I'm gonna freaking wait. Ugh, my god, this is so irritating. Okay. Now we're at one percent. And continue. This is the stupidest goddamn shit I've ever had to do in my goddamn life. Yeah, well, I don't have time for this. I'm just gonna keep on going in and out until one pops up. So yeah, I'm going to be editing this, speeding this up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> this is fucking ridiculous. Aha! There you are. Get over here! Ugh, oh, finally! Yeah, give me the damn key! Yes! Jesus Christ! I have had enough of this! I'm going to unlock the key and then I'm going to end the stream there. I'm going to have to go back and edit this and... Ugh. Like I knew this was gonna take the whole stream to do this. Uh, 
Hey, unlock the door. Alright. And that's it for the stream. Next time will be the finale.